Welcome to Tech Turbo. The world's drinking water supply is at risk, and desalination plants are set to make more salt water potable. But to make the process sustainable and affordable, new and improved technologies need to be further developed. Further developed. Today we will tell you about scientists' new discoveries finally replacing water desalination. Number 3. Water Crisis The term water shortage is defined by the UN as a situation in which there isn't sufficient access to drinking water to fulfill human needs. The World Health Organization, or WHO, states that in times of crisis, every person needs guaranteed access to at least 15 liters of water per day, preferably all drinking water, at least fresh water. According to the World Water Institute, Almost 2 billion people in 17 countries are heading straight for an acute water crisis in the coming years. This will lead to between 24 and 700 million people being displaced by as early as 2040, the UN has warned. Water is among the top five global risks in terms of impacts, reaching far beyond socioeconomic and environmental challenges and impacting livelihoods and well-being of the people, says Mansour Qadir an environmental scientist who focuses on water recycling and safe reuse at the United Nations University in Hamilton, Canada. In a recent study, Kadir and his colleagues concluded that statistics demonstrate that conventional sources of water such as rainfall, snowmelts, and river runoff captured in lakes, rivers, and aquifers are no longer sufficient to meet human demands in water-scarce areas. Kadir is calling for more desalination plants. Desalination can extend water supplies beyond what is available from the hydrological cycle, providing an unlimited, climate-independent, and steady supply of potable water, he says. By definition, drinking water should have a salt content of no more than 0.01%. The term fresh water is used for a salt content of up to 0.05%, while most crops can tolerate a salt content of up to 0.2%. Even though 70% of our planet's surface is water, only 2.5% of that can be defined as fresh or drinking water, and 70% isn't accessible, trapped, for instance, in polar ice. What remains is less than 1%. Half of the world's groundwater is either too contaminated with other substances or too saline to be suitable for drinking without treatment. This so-called brackish water has a salt content of between 0.05 and 3%. For all of those different types of water, the same basic formula applies. The higher the percentage of salt, the more difficult, damaging, and energy-consuming becomes the process of desalination, at least for those technologies currently in use in significant enough numbers. Number 2. Improving Efficiency Scientists believe that they have solved one of the biggest mysteries about desalination exactly how reverse osmosis membranes work to remove salts and other chemicals from water. A breakthrough they say could help make the process more efficient and cheaper. Reverse osmosis membranes are widely used for cleaning water, but there's still a lot we don't know about them, Manish Kumar, a chemical engineer at the University of Texas, Austin, and co-author of the new research, said in a statement. We couldn't really say how water moves through them. So all the improvements over the past 40 years have essentially been done in the dark. A team of researchers from the University of Texas and Pennsylvania State University, in partnership with DuPont Water Solutions, discovered that desalination membranes are inconsistent in mass distribution and density. These inconsistencies can impair the performance of reverse osmosis, they found. By making the membranes more uniform in density at the nanoscale, the researchers were able to increase desalination efficiency 30 to 40 percent, therefore cleaning more water with less energy and lowering the cost. The findings were published earlier this month in the journal Science. The discovery comes at a critical time, when climate change, population growth, and pollution are threatening access to safe drinking water. Fresh water management is becoming a crucial challenge throughout the world, said Enrique Gomez, a professor of chemical engineering at Penn State, who co-led the research. Shortages, droughts, with increasing severe weather patterns, it's expected that this problem will become even more significant. 
It's critically important to have clean water availability, especially in low resource areas. Number one, new water purification system. New water purification system could help slake the world's thirst. More than 1 billion people around the world lack access to fresh water, and the problem is growing. By 2025, a whopping two-thirds of the world's population may face water shortages. It's like that thirst, some wealthy communities have invested in water desalination plants that turn salt water into clean drinking water. But these plants are too expensive for most communities to afford. Now, researchers have come up with a solar-powered technique that could make small-scale desalination systems affordable, even for individual households. The approach is a new take on an old technology known as a solar still. These stills, large containers covered by clear plastic tarps or glass enclosures, direct sunlight onto a basin of salty water. Water evaporates, leaving salts behind, and then condenses on the plastic or glass where it is captured. The trouble is throughput. The sun evaporates water so slowly that very little fresh water is produced, too little for most people to even bother. To fix the throughput problem, researchers have tried topping the salt water with floating films dotted with nano-sized metal particles typically made from gold. Gold is a good absorber of sunlight, and the nanoparticles funnel the sun's energy into tiny hotspots that then effectively evaporate water. But gold and other noble metals that work just as well are expensive. Now researchers led by electrical engineer Jia Zhu at Nanjing University in China have fashioned a solar absorber to work with aluminum, one of the most abundant and cheapest metals on the planet. Normally, aluminum is good at absorbing only ultraviolet light, a small sliver of the solar spectrum. But Zhu's team broadened this absorption in two steps. First, they perforated the foil with a regular array of holes, each 300 nanometers across. The array prevents light from reflecting off the surface and scatters it through the film, increasing the odds it will be absorbed. The researchers also misted the aluminum oxide foil with an extra dose of vaporized aluminum. The additional aluminum formed a thin layer on top, but in the pores, the aluminum atoms bunched up into tiny islands. That increased the foil's odds of absorbing sunlight. The aluminum islands worked like gold particles, creating energy funneling hotspots that boosted water evaporation at those sites. The approach worked so well that the researchers were able to purify salt water up to three times faster than without the foil. They reported this week in Nature Photonics. Just one square meter of foil generated two to eight liters of water per hour, depending on the amount of light hitting the still. Tests showed that the purified water contained only trace amounts of salt, orders of magnitude less than the World Health Organization and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency deem safe for drinking water. The new setup isn't likely to replace industrial filtration techniques anytime soon. Those are already efficient on a large scale, generating up to 65 liters of water per hour for every square meter of membrane, says Benny Freeman a chemical engineer and water desalination expert at the University of Texas at Austin. However, desalination plants currently require massive inputs of energy, usually from fossil fuels. That makes them unaffordable for many developing countries and households. So the new technique could offer a way for individuals to purify water for their own needs on the cheap. There certainly is a lot of need for that, Freeman says. If you can provide clean water, even at a small scale, it could be a game changer. That said, Freeman adds that the new approach to desalination still has a ways to go before proving itself in the real world. In their current experiment, the setup worked for 25 cycles of one hour each with little drop in performance. But to be useful in the real world, it will have to last for months or years. Researchers will also have to find ways to dispose of the extra salty brine that the evaporating water leaves. But with so many people in desperate need of fresh water, a new cheap source of purification is bright prospect. Do let us know in the comments what are your thoughts about water issues and their solutions. Thanks for watching.